Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? Listen, we got to go ahead and talk about this. Bruh, patch 10. Now, I'm going to be real. I'm a little late to everything. I was in class, but I felt the need to go ahead and try to drop this for y'all. Almost ASAP. You get what I mean? Um, <laughs> As far as we know, behind the back is finally gone. It's finally gone, y'all. You know, a lot of people been complaining, saying that, you know, a lot of guards need this. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way they can score. They do this back to back. They do it over and over until they can score. I don't know. I've lost a couple games to a point guard doing that. But if I lose, I lose. Cause I'm not going to blame, you know, what's in the game saying that's why I lost. Like, just that one move, I've always felt like it's been more of a collective thing. But besides that, though, let's get into this patch 10. The following players have received hair updates to reflect their latest real life look. D'Angelo Russell, Austin Rivers, and none of this really matters. The duo overlay will now properly show badge upgrades. The duo overlay will now properly show badge upgrades in my team. I don't play my team, so I don't really much care about that. But latency has been reduced while playing pro am games, resulting in a more familiar user experience. I guess it's not going to be as much delayed. I guess that makes sense. Address reported concerns where users could walk onto the court in the specific neighborhood games. Uh, all that is pretty wild, man. So. I don't know what is life going to be in 2K without the behind the back. Will PGs really adapt? I don't know, man. It seemed like a real big thing. Like I said, the chat was blowing up on my phone while I was in class. People are going crazy about it on Twitter, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's looking pretty wild. I wanted to make a point guard, and I already don't really know how to dribble now. So I'm kind of concerned, you know. I thought I was going to be able to get, you know, piggybacked off that, you know, little move or whatever over and over <laughs> until I spam like a contact dunk or something. So I don't know, man. This is going to be pretty wild. Uh, I already updated my 2K and everything, so I'm ready to play. I'm about to play with my boy Splash Beast. We're going to see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? If it's really something they can't get adjusted to you know our screen is going to be more effective or we're going to have to play more team ball it's iso dead we got to really think about all these because with that behind the back being gone i don't see what could really like substitute for that besides you know the spamming the momentum dribble a lot of pgs already don't do that but one thing i will say for all the comp pgs i feel like they don't have to worry about anything because if you comp, you comp. PGs are going to adjust how we have every patch, you know what I'm saying? As a community, we've always adjusted. So I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem, to be honest. You know, I'm confident in my guys, the people that I run with, you know what I'm saying? Agent, Shoot, Splash, Taj, all them goats, man, Mike. I'm not trying to miss anybody. Uh, who else? Backpacking, my guy, you know what I'm saying? I feel like my guys are going to be good when it come down. To adjust without this, you know what I'm saying? Because at, at the end of the day, it's always came down to IQ. Anyone could spam that behind the back move, you know what I'm saying? And still not be able to go anywhere with it or not be able to score, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I feel like locks will be more OP. They'll be able to spam more, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be easy to like defend the guard, but like I said, screens are gonna have to be a lot more useful. You're gonna have to hold your screens more. Thing, that's really what's gonna have to come down to now um if it's that big of a deal i feel like 2k sometimes they listen to it sometimes they don't we'll see an immediate change if it's to where this game isn't even playable anymore or they might just bite the bullet and force everybody to play but my boy taj had one real solid point that i was gonna say but i wasn't really that involved in the league so i kind of just kept it to myself was are they gonna reset the combine now because it's not really fair let's be real you know what i'm saying they already say it's an inside game and you need to know certain people are they gonna go ahead and you know well i know they're not but should they though i think they should because that's not fair you know you said a whole combine made people play 50 plus games for a meta that's not even a thing anymore you know what i'm saying a lot of pgs was able to spam that to get by you know what i'm saying it was easy for them to score all that good stuff and now, you know what I'm saying? We're forced to not, you know, PGs are forced 
to not use that move i think that's kind of it's kind of messed up cuz so i kind of you know for whoever watches this i want y'all y'all opinion with past 10 is it a is it a l you know what i'm saying is it a big dub i gotta let me know man um i appreciate everybody you know rocking with me i'm gonna go ahead and sign out though i just had a little mixtape playing in the back uh, y'all go ahead and y'all can continue watching if y'all want, man, already. It's your boy KT Uno, man. You know, man. And we gone. It dig. You got the user. Oh, no. I thought this ain't the user. Hey. Yeah, I do, I do, I gotta go.